What's up guys, it's me, Janne here, and in today's video I'll be comparing a works car and a privateer car, which means that I drove through the same stage twice with, well, looking from the outside it was the same car, but from the inside it wasn't. Meaning that first I went through with the works car, which is the fully upgraded Ford Focus 2001 rally car, and after that I went through the stage with the privateer Ford Focus 2001, which is the non-upgraded version. So let's compare the st technical stats of the car and then let's begin the test. Here we have the Privateer Ford Focus 2001 and we can see that the vehicle has 234 brake horsepower and it weighs 1340 kilos. So it is quite heavy and of course when you are a Privateer you are pretty much forced to have a huge racing number and a hideous livery so that's why i chose this livery for this car and here we have the works car with all the upgrades and you can see that this car has 300 brake horsepower which is around 60 more compared to the privateer car and the car weighs 1230 kilos which is roughly 110 kilos less than the privateer car so basically the works car is lighter than the privateer car by the amount of an average american but yeah let's take these cars to the stage and see how they compare to each other And the stage that I'm using for this video is the Kotajärvi stage in Finland. Here we are on the start line with the works car, because obviously the works cars come first in all of the rallies that at least I've seen so far. So let's make the works car go first. And yeah, this is the Kotajärvi stage, as I said before. And yeah, I'll be braking a bit more probably with the with the works car since it has that much more power and it is somewhat more difficult to control because of that aspect so it's not that about me being like biased towards the privateers or anything it's just that I'm trying to drive as fast as possible but without breaking the car or anything so to make as equal as possible for both cars and here we have pretty much reached the end of sector one already and this is a really nice right hand junction which was nice to drive since i've now perfected the use of junction and yeah these left hand corners over crest are really nice since you can just really throw the car there to the over the crest and into the corner and it will just stick around it it's amazing and yeah i got a little contact on the second left hand jump with something on the inside of the corner but let's not let that bother us and yeah here i almost lost the car it was somewhat scary and here is this stupid little bump that always makes a, like an after bump or something it's really annoying I and mean, you can't even like go over the bump or anything you can't get enough speed or at least i can't but it might be down to me being not that good of a driver either i don't know and yeah this is really hard to control at some times during the stage and yeah here is coming a really good example of this being really hard to control since this long left hander you could go flat out with both cars yeah but you really have to concentrate to get it flat out with this works car and with the privateer car it's really easy it's like a stroll in the park and no i'm not meaning like the canadian formula one driver being in the park because that would be weird but there we are approaching i believe in the start of the final sector pretty soon and here's another annoying jump straight in the game you can't like have a good landing you just land on another bump and then you will just bounce away like you would be in a bouncing castle or something and being a five-year-old yeah bouncing castles are fun but 
for some reason I don't like those bouncing castle type of straights in the game. And here we have the biggest jump of the stage, obviously. And yeah, I did fly a lot further with this works car compared to the slow and heavy privateer car. And I really like this corner corner section or whatever the right right handed to the left handed it slightly feels like the Finnish rally version of the Rouge corner on this past circuit and we are reaching the end with the works calm right about now and now it is time for the privateer and now probably about a 150 cars later it's the turn of the privateer on the same stage Oh my god, this car is so slow. Like, this is like a comparison between Nico Hülkenberg and Jolien Palmer. And I don't think that I have to say which, which one this car is. And if you are not following Formula 1, I can say that this car is the Jolien Palmer of the two cars here. Since this is really slow. And well, I can't com <laughs> comment on the weight of Julian Palmer and Nico Hulkenberg, but yeah, whatever. And if Fernando Alonso were to drive this car, he would comment it something along the lines WRC2, WRC2 engine. Oh, or maybe with I have never raced with less power, and he has driven for Minardi in Formula One. So that's really sad. To hear. <laughs> but yeah, that would be probably what Fernando would comment about this car. And yeah, since you are a privateer and you are basically a bitch to the advertisers who are sponsoring you, you have to have that hideous sponsor to call on the rear window so you can't see when you are reversing. And that's kind of sketchy. But yeah, you can notice that with this car, well first of all we're, we aren't going that fast and second of all we are not jumping that much over these bumps compared to the works car. So yeah it's really obvious that this is the slower of the two. But I think it's actually good that these cars are slow in the beginning, especially if you are a beginner to the game. So you can first get to know the car with like sort of an e easier version of the car and then you can upgrade it and step your game up and drive the real deal which is really fast and hard to control. But yeah here you can see with the works car I was really struggling through this corner but now I'm just flat out and not struggling at all. Not even using all the road. It's that easy with this car. But yeah, <laughs> not, not going to be a surprise that this will be slower. So truly a Cholian Palmer of the two cars. While the earlier focus was clearly to Nico Hulkenberg of the two cars. Even though I'd say that the first car could achieve podiums. So I'm sort of a Nico Hulkenberg but sort of not. And yeah, we are approaching the final sector of the stage already. And I almost fell asleep when I was driving this. It was really, really slow. I mean, like, if they would have any more complicated crowd animations, I think the crowd would be walking faster than this car is going. And yeah, you could see that over that big jump, there was no <laughs> trouble of making the corner after the big jump since I almost didn't get any air from the big jump and it was like I had a few days of time to break before the left hander which wasn't the case with the works car and here we are through the last few corners this left hander and then the right hander and the privateer is finishing and then we can mock him a bit more And yeah, there you had both of the runs. One was fast and one was, well, a kind of a run that you should measure the time with a calendar instead of a stopwatch. And 
here are the results since I'm such a video editing wizard nowadays. And no, I did not mean this video to be an insult towards privateers in rallying. No, I was just comparing the two cars here and I truly respect all the privateers in rallying since you can do something that A. I don't know how to do and B. can't afford. So I truly respect you guys and don't take this as an insult. But yeah, as you can see from the times, obviously the car w which was lighter and fa uh, yeah faster was, well, faster. That wasn't so much of a surprise, really. It had the same surprise element of as of Eric Camelli's crash, so not surprising at all. But yeah, this was pretty much the video. Thank you so much for watching and tune back on Monday so you can see a somewhat special Maximum Attack Monday. At least it's special for me. I hope it's special for you guys as well. And then on Thursday, we will be having the final closure for Dirt Rally. So stay tuned and I'll see you on Monday and then on Thursday. And yes, Thursday will be the day I'll be releasing the video that I'll be, I have been hyped, fuck, the video that I've been hyping about for the last month or so. So yeah, that has been somewhat of a bigger project for me and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed to do it and as much as I enjoy the final product. But yeah, see you guys on Monday and then on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.